So one of the things we have to factor in is this idea of depreciation. Uh, something that we buy now is not going to be worth the same amount of money uh, in the future. It's actually going to be worth less. Uh, so one of the things we can do with that is let's think, you know, Jarrell's kitchen uh, is buying some kitchen equipment uh, that will kind of work out now. However, in the future, you know, the uh, stove, the ovens, the heating racks, the countertops, they're all going to be old. In about 15 years, you know, they will be old. So what are they going to be worth in about 15 years? Well, we can already uh, look at these things in a five-year plan uh, just because, again, we've got that five-year plan lined up. We actually have two different styles of a depreciation. Straight line depreciation and declining balance depreciation. So straight line depreciation. Straight line depreciation operates on the idea that it's going to lose at a constant rate. It's going to just lose value at a constant rate over each year. So in our case, say for example, just like everything else, we have an SLN returns a straight line. Now the first thing we have to do is we have to factor in the cost. How much was it the first time we bought it? Then, what's the salvage rate? We're gonna sell it for $60,000 in 15 years. Now, when I go ahead and hit enter, we should see that it's gonna be depreciating roughly at $8,000 a year. So, now we can go ahead and just play off the cumulative. That's just me saying it's only $8,000 a year. Uh, but, now we look at the depreciated uh, value. What, what What is it now that we've uh, depreciated out this value? Again, it's uh, my long-term asset, my C5, minus now this cumulative amount. Now I am going to take this C5 and I am going to go ahead and apply the absolute cell reference to it because that's going to be a factor later on. Now all of a sudden I come to my D11. Well, one of the things I have to do over here in C11 is I want to go ahead and change all of these to absolute cell references because I'm going to drag it across. Again, we're dealing with straight line depreciation, meaning it's always going to depreciate at $8,000. Doesn't matter that the value of the uh, stove got less after the first year, we are always going to depreciate at $8,000. So suddenly, my cumulative depreciation is going to be whatever it was last time, plus whatever I'm depreciating it by this time. So I should cumulatively depreciate at 16000 At the end of four years, I've cumulatively depreciated at $40,000. Again, I'll just go ahead and drag this across as well. And you see that I, at the end of a five-year plan, the items, the kitchen equipment that I bought at $180,000 is now only going to be worth roughly about $140,000 worth. You know, that's the end of the world. <laughs> so now we get declining balance. So if straight line depreciation was that something uh, constantly uh, declines at a set rate, Declining balance sort of declines in the sense by a percentage. Just like we saw when we were working off our growth fill, things can grow at a percentage. We're looking at things as uh, depreciating at a percentage the exact same way. We do this the exact same way. We start this time with a DB. Returns the depreciation of an asset for a specified period in a fixed declining balance method. What we're saying here is, again, what was the initial cost? What is the salvage amount? What's the life of it? And what period are we on right now? We're on the first period of a 15-year cycle. Now, the one thing I am going to do, as you can already guess, is I want to make C5, C6, and C7 absolute cell references. Now I do not want to do that with C16. Again, C16 is going to change from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, across all my years. So I want that to be a relative cell reference. And what I should get is about $12,000. 
if I click and drag that across, you should see that, yeah, it's going to uh, decrease over time. The value of it decreases over time, but that's perfectly okay. We start off the same way. I work off of my equals, then equal plus that, and I drag that across. In a five-year span, even though I'm losing less money over time, I'm losing a, a, a smaller amount each time, I'm declining faster. It's depreciating technically faster. So the same way we did it before, boom, subtract that, absolute value of that. And you can see at the end of my five-year plan, my ovens have depreciated out to $124,000.